All right. Well, we're sitting in my wife's Jeep. She's got a problem with it. Um, let's, uh, hang on a second. Dang it. Yeah, she's got something in her book or something in her call it in the book box. Hang on just one second. So the way you pull this out is you push these little tabs in on each side. So hold you there maybe. So you push the tabs in and then it just lifts right off. So what she's having a problem with is you can really hear it when you turn it on. Here I loud that blower mode. Here I loud that blower motor is. And it starts to starts to rattling and a bunch of other stuff also. So we're gonna fix that. Doesn't sound as bad now as what it normally does, but anyways, that's that's what we're gonna fix today. So let me grab some tools real quick and we'll get the motor pulled out from the bottom and check it and make sure it just doesn't have debris in there and uh, if it if it doesn't have debris i've already got a, a blower motor just in case and then it looks like you can just unsnap these little clips to pull that piece off so you can replace the uh cabin air filter i got a cabin air filter for it also but Anyways, uh, give me a second to get some tools, and we'll get set up. I'll get a light, too. Maybe maybe it'll help in here, but um, this is how to diagnose and possibly replace a blower motor. Hang on. All right. Well, here's the cabin air filter. Two little filters. Two little filters in there, I get. And... I'm not super fond of this brand, but then you open it up, it's a VDO. VDO makes pretty good stuff. So, and just a little tip, like I've never done one of these. Um, it comes with the, with the deal on the housing. No core charge because it's new, lifetime warranty. Um, but just a little tip, so if you've never done one before and you don't know the location of all your screw holes, and it's kind of hard to see, you know, up underneath there. You can take your piece and let me turn, turn the light on so you can get. So, see how this piece sticks over here? So, you can look at the orientation of this. And it's sitting like that underneath there. So, we know we have a screw hole back here. A screw hole there and one over here and then there's a screw in there that holds a little light on so that way you don't have to like look around like hmm where what screw do I take off next or what screw do I take off next so anyways I'm gonna try to get you guys some kind of view you're probably not gonna have a view um, I mean maybe maybe there I don't know if you can even see anything but and I'll probably have to move you. It looks like it is a, what are these? I think these are T20s. T25s. T25 is what I think it is. Let me try to get underneath here. Where's your flame? There's one. There's one. Which one was that? That's that one, so I should have one over there. Let me move the light. Hopefully that doesn't blind you guys to where you can't see, but it doesn't help me any if I can't see what the heck I'm doing. Um, Jeep's not the easiest thing to put your head underneath. And do anything with and then try to film. There's that. Let's unplug the blower motor before we get any further. So we don't have to fight it. Apparently I'm gonna fight it anyways. It 
doesn't want to unplug. Let's throw that back in there real quick. Make it a little more rigid maybe. There we go. That didn't want to come out of there. We'll take our little DeWalt. Okay. The next one is back by you guys. Let's move you around. Maybe you've got a view there. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to move you out of there. I can't, I can't get my head underneath there and not block you and all that. So there's snow on the ground. I'm trying to wedge myself in here. It's raining, but this noise is driving my wife crazy and I don't know. I'm just trying to take care of her. Okay, there we go. So here's our blower motor. Yeah, I'd say it's our blower motor. Hear it? And then hear this. Here. Quiet not so um i don't know if that's a factory blower motor or not i mean you would think that it would say something on it but anyway so let's let's sit this like that it looks like the same critter um i'm gonna change out my bit my little bit holder here I mean, what's kind of weird is this is loose. So I don't know if somebody's put a blower motor in it before. I mean, it's kind of weird that that would be loose. trying to get you guys a shot here I don't know if you're if it's even in view it's really hard doing stuff for video let's see Okay, and that's your interior light. So basically repeat the process. And if you didn't hear any noise out of it, you could go ahead and uh, plug this in and try it. But obviously it's making noise. I mean, you guys heard it as I sat there and spun it. And that's kind of mimicking the noise that it was making. I thought I lost one of the screws. It was up there on the corner. This would be a whole lot easier if we didn't have like slushy snow out here. It's been doing this since the, the snow started. And uh, she was like, I know you don't want to work on my work on my Jeep when there's snow on the ground, but she said it's driving me crazy. It's like squealing and rumbling and 
carrying on and making all kinds of noise. I said, well, we could put it in the shop. And she just said, no, just wait. And the messed up thing is, this is her new, this is her new Jeep, new to her. It's not brand new. It's only got 47,000 miles on it, and the mo blower motor's bad. It's kind of odd. Jeep usually makes a pretty good vehicle. Not saying it's a bad vehicle because the blower motor goes out. You would think 47,000 miles, you wouldn't need to put a blower motor in it. Obviously, don't over tighten these. And plug the blower motor back in. You know, just repeat the process. Plug your little plug your little light in here. And we'll climb up in here. And I say climb, you do have to climb. I mean, she's got a lift kit and I don't know, tall tires on it and stuff. Where's the keys? Put the keys in my pocket. Let's see. That's a whole lot nicer, isn't it, guys? Let's turn and recycle to where you can. That fixed her issue.